Hey everyone, it's Morgan Crane. I'm here today to show you how I fill my eyebrows using my unique products. And this brow is done. This brow is not done. Um, I have naturally light and pretty sparse eyebrows to begin with. I don't have a lot to work with. So um, most tutorials I see, it's like really complicated and lots of different colors and their eyebrow looks like supermodels and I just don't have those type of brows. So those don't really apply to me. So if you have kind of sparse, thin brows, um, then this is for you. So um, I use four products. I try to keep it really simple. I'm a really basic makeup type of person, um, but I use my... Lash Comb and Brow Brush. I use my Liner and Shader Brush, the liner side. I use my Unique Pigment in Infatuated. And I also use my Glorious Primer to finish it off. So, first step, like you can see, I don't really have anything over here. And I don't have much over here either, but what I do have, I just try to comb it up and over a little bit just to try to get a shape. They're just kind of like whatever across my face. So I try to train it a little bit to go up and over and try to get some sort of arch. Um, and then once I do that, I take my shader brush and um, we have lots of different pigments that would work for this. It really depends on your skin tone and, tone and your hair color. Um, so you can play around to see which works best for you. Infatuated is a good fit for me. So what I do, is I start right at where there kind of should be more hair than there is and I kind of fill that in there to create the illusion and then I go up and do the top and try to make that arch that's missing. It looks like I need a little bit more. And I go a little bit farther than my natural, my natural brow ends here but most people's brows end over about here. So I try to go a little bit farther. And then I do the same thing on the bottom. Also making that arch on the bottom. And then I'm gonna look over in the mirror. And I start kind of fill in, fill in the blank spots. So you can see right there, it's already a lot different looking than it was before. And it took me two seconds with, with the pigments. So once I get that, done I kind of make sure that they match and they go the same way out and then I finish the look with just a little tiny bit of primer on my finger just like the tiniest little bit and I can just put that as kind of a sealant instead of a brow gel and then it's done so super simple, but it kind of finishes off my whole look. And then once you start doing it, if you don't have them done, you're going to notice and people are going to notice that you don't have them done. So I'm going to go because now my kids are walking in. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye.